Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca and we're going to do a hair tutorial. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I hope you're good. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm just going to keep saying thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys can see everything okay, you know, because sometimes I'm really not as, oh, there's the fan. We'll talk about that later. Um, sometimes I'm just not like as comfortable here as I am just standing in my bathroom, but it would be difficult to do a tutorial standing in my bathroom because I don't think there's room for my lights and camera, but whatever. Okay, I still, you know, it's probably a, a sweater fuzz. Okay, what I'm gonna show you today is I'm gonna show you how I style my hair, second day hair, um, and with the Lange uh, Duo Styler, like I am not a, I don't have an affiliate with anything um, with Lange, but I got this from Ulta and sometimes there's some good specials. <laughs> so I figured, hey, I talked about it in one of my videos, how much I like it. So I thought, I'll just demonstrate it for you. Gotta do my hair anyway today. I washed my hair yesterday. I did, did I blow my hair dry? Yes, I did blow my hair dry. <sighs> You wanna, this is so annoying. My hair is bleached, so I take care of it. Well, it has color and bleach processing to it. Um, it's, so when I wash it before I blow dry it, or even if I air dry it, I always put product in it. I always put a heat protectant, whether it's a spray or lotion. Um, usually I put like a root, some kind of root volumizer or like sea salt spray at the, at the roots just to kind of give it this, you know, and then I typically I'll do like, hmm, you know, day two, I'll do a little bit of dry shampoo. Not a lot. It just kind of depends on where I can see it getting a little bit greasy. And then what I do is I sort of spray another heat protectant throughout just lightly. Um, and then just kind of, and then let that dry and brush it out. And then, um, especially on the top. So this underneath section, I, I guess, I mean, it needs as much attention as the rest of your hair, but I don't know, for some reason, I'm just a little bit like, ah, eh, it's fine. I am sectioning off my hair because honestly, as much as you want to go fast and maybe just run your 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 tool through your hair it really is better to just uh comb it out first so with the launch you don't have to use a terribly high heat setting i always go right around 390 sometimes 360 depending on the tool this one i keep at 390 and this is the one i told you has this fan so it is going to be blowing the fan and i hope that doesn't interfere terribly with my audio and I've got my microphone right here. So hopefully it's okay. It's not, it's not bad. But um, the fan, what's so great about it is this fan that comes out, actually, I guess, I don't know if it's like a cooling fan or what it does, cause it still feels hot, but it really does, it like it sets the style, you know? Okay, so you can do straight, right? Or you can do curl and it is so easy. It's so easy. I love the way the plates on this do not catch. They really don't. And so what I'm doing is I'm just taking uh, sections. I'm just kind of like spinning them around. I focus at the top of here, bend, pause, do that, okay? And then I just kind of pull it again. I like to keep the bend and, uh, the bend and snap, no. Um, I like it to be up here and not as much down here. I don't want to just curl the end of my hair and then I have a bump, right? very 80s, <laughs> which is probably in style now, right? I kind of like to keep it a little, a little irregular. And also since it's this lower, the lower hairs, 
the underneath hairs don't need to be precise. You're not gonna see them. They're just for um, almost like just a foundation, like a base. You can turn the fan off if it bothers you. What do I hear? So let's, I'm gonna go down this section. Now, I could have just straightened my hair today. I totally could have done that. You know. Can straighten it once quickly, then go. I'll show you what I mean by like spinning, keeping it there, see? Keeping it um, more of a vertical curl versus creating any horizontal dimension. How we doing? Okay. <laughs> I think I don't do these videos because I'm not used to not talking. I can't, I can't not look at the camera and talk to you guys. So funny. I think that's what's so great about hair tutorials is if you're like somewhere and you can't have dialogue, if, if you can't show, have the vol volume on your laptop or your phone and um, you want something, you're kind of like not into the show that you and your husband are watching together, you just put on a hair tutorial and go like, oh, yeah, turn on some captions and then, you know, who needs the audio? Okay, and now for the top portion, which is kind of the most important. So, ooh, look at that, my roots are coming in. Um, so this is the time to determine your part. Are you gonna do middle part, side part? I actually, I already have it just a, off to the side, and I think I'm gonna go a little more for volume, maybe. Yeah, just kinda like so. And you want to do that before you curl this so that the direction of the curl is going where you want it to. So if you curl it, then switch the part, you'll have hairs going like if, you know, it was like this, then it'll go like this. You understand? Yeah, it's not hard. I'm not, I'm not saying anything earth shattering. The other thing about um, what I, what I'll do sometimes and I'm, well, so sometimes when there's just like one, I feel like you're trying to, not, you're trying not to curl it too much. And then sometimes you make the mistake of under curling it where you've really only rotated enough to give kind of one bend in the hair. And it just looks like you're wearing, you, you wore a hat and it made a bend in your hair. So sometimes I try to go through and add another bend. Um, we'll see though, like for instance, let's see if I can do that with this one. It looks almost a bit, um, I don't know if I did. Um, okay. I'm going to turn the fan back on. Here we go. Actually, it's still a little combing. Uh 
Aha, see? Yes. Ha. I just feel so much accomplishment. I might go in the, a different direction for this one so I don't have everything falling in its uh, like dominoes. I need to go further down my... There we go. We'll see. We'll see where that, see, that one is going to bug me. I did that. I mean, look at this. This is, this one's like perfect. Do you see that? I love it. I'm just kind of, I'm twisting and I'm letting it slide down. That's why it's so important to have a tool that doesn't catch your hair on the plates because if you're sliding it, kind of pause at the top, then just kind of, yeah. And kind of. This one needs to go, I think, and go forward. As I get closer to the front and to kind of my my pseudo bangs because they're not really bangs but they kind of they kind of are um, I don't curl them at well you know you can do what you want I don't curl them as tight but I also kind of don't want them weird and looking like I, I missed them. So it's a, for me, it's kind of tricky. I don't know if I've, I feel like I master it, but I try to just put like one, one bend, kind of pull through. There we go, a little more. All right. So you always want to make sure you let your all your waves and curls cool before you start brushing them unless of course if you feel like you want them to relax a bit then you can manipulate them while they're still warm and then you will help them to uh, relax relax people just kidding i will have to look in the in my bathroom mirror to see what kind of spots are missing. But for today's 
exercise, we shall take a little bit. I like to do some kind of cream styler, whether it's a lotion, pomade. Okay, before I do that, so here's a volumizing texture spray. This is from the drugstore. It's Marc Anthony Grow Long. Then I have this Garnier Fructis Texture Tees. I don't think that there's a lot of difference. They're not bad. So you just want to, I like to kind of get in there. It's almost like a dry shampoo, but it's a little grittier. You can really, really go to town with this stuff. Yeah, I'm mixing it to just sort of see which one. You can also do a little bit of that. Get it right at the roots. Okay. I think the nice thing about second day hair is my second day hair never holds any type of styling curl um, as first day hair. That's, that's its characteristic. So when I'm kind of going for something a little more relaxed, a little more deconstructed looking, kind of PC, it, it works. It works with second day hair. <sighs> Thank goodness I don't have to do like something completely precise and you know so depending on like that's a lot of volume kind of cute right you know we could stop there um, I always get more volume on this side and kind of this part looks really good and PC and then this part looks a little bit frizzed this is just living proof um, t multitasking styler I got this at Marshall's um, you can find some good deals on living proof it's kind of a paste kind of a pomade I like to just get it sticky on my hands and piece through the ends. You can even really work kind of some of the baby hairs. And actually, as the day goes, and you know, depending on if I go outside and it's raining a little bit, my hair will either relax or separate. And sometimes I love it, and sometimes I'm like, forget it, and put on a hat, <laughs> put on a cute like beanie or beret. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is kind of it. This is sort of what I do. And I just think that it's, you know, it took longer because I talked to you, but on a regular day when I'm just in my bathroom doing this, it's like 10 minutes, you know? Uh, yeah, so I might do a little more, more hairspray right there. For now, I'll just do this. All right, and there you go. Ah, cute, right? Okay, let's, I don't know what the back looks like, you guys, so forgive me if it's goofy. Depending on your hair texture, uh, the way your stylist has cut your hair, you know, what, whether you have it textured or layered, will change the shape of what happens when, you know, if you follow exactly what I've done, it may not look the same. You know, it just, it all depends on also the, your hair growth pattern. So like where my cowlicks are versus yours, etc. you know, basically what I told my stylist, the way she cuts it is I have an A-line uh, I have a A-line haircut and um, where it's uh, right now it's kind of it's a blunt cut with just like a little added texture and longer layers longer pieces is what I told her um, with like a little bit of a 
almost a pseudo grow out curtain bang. <laughs> So we just kind of gave my me some pieces right here like to frame, but it they're not bang, which I still am kind of toying with. I do. I like that kind of, I like that. Anyway, well, thank you so much. And if you enjoy hair tutorials, I have a whole playlist of videos similar to this one. If you want to see any other bargain, drugstore, dupes, whatever, I've got those too. So thanks so much. And if you can consider subscribing or at least give this video a thumbs up, it'll just help tell my boss that I'm doing a good job. The boss is YouTube. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.